students in my madrasa, they found out that there is this village here and they do like cassava. And one day at lunch, they just was strolling like around the, it was a new area that we moved to for my madrasa. So there was like lots of bushes around, like it's actually all bushes around us. Like really, there's no house, it's just my madrasa. <laughs> Imagine, and so my st- the students in my illegal they just stroll, and then they found the village, and they came back with so much fufu, and I knew that that aroma just threw me off that day. They came back with so so much, and then they were they are, when I was that's why I asked them, like where did you go? They go we just went stroll around, and then we found this village, and they like cooking fufu there. And they give them the fufu. I think they actually like dash them because we were their students. They dash them the uh, the fufu and they brought them. Even like they were sharing it, like they're giving it to other students of the madrasa. I didn't take it. My sister, I think my sister went to or my sister. They gave my sister some too, and my sister she liked fufu anyway, and she took them and she when we got home she was sitting and like. Mm-mm, not my dish. When I tasted, it tasted good, but I don't like, like, I don't, <laughs> and I, I, I don't. I just, you know, I just don't. I don't know. It's not. It's not. I mean, in a Yoruba home, anyway, it's not our. I won't say it's not our food. It's our food, but in my home, we don't. We don't eat it as much as um amala and i think it's because of the economic anyway i think it's the economy like i feel like cassava is said to be more expensive so you will see more people eating amala i don't know how true but i think but yeah we don't need but the kind of uh, fufu that we eat anyway will be laughing laughing like we eat laughing laughing is very good like i I like laughing. I don't. I'm like so famous now, and I'm like, ah, excuse you. Are you guys forgetting laughing? Because laughing is very good, very soft, very stretchy. Like you know, like it has like that touch there, so it's very stretchy. So good. I love it. Like beside Amala, that would be my. You know, as a Nigerian child, I don't know how so many Nigerians might have the story like. You have to learn how to eat amala. So, when in my house, when they cook amala and everything, I'll be like, I don't want amala. So, they will do a bath for me. And then, <laughs> I don't know, maybe one day one of my aunties or one of my sister or my mom just got angry. And she was like, no, we are not going to make a separate food for you. So, you have to eat amala. As the rest of the other people are eating. So I shall I manage, manage and eat maybe like about some. Like not, not like a lot, but I shall eat. And then slowly, little by little, I learn how to eat uh, Amala like that. Because they be eating the Amala. Like, I would be like, no, I want a bam. But you know, if I want to have, if I want to be baby, babies, and I go to my family house, they will cook what? The bam or something. Because you know what? You go to family house. We don't go to family house. Is actually, nice sometimes. Like, you go there and you're like, ah, this has look this um, this kids. We have to pat their heads. So like, they be cooking. You know, to be someone that will come and I was like, what do you want to eat? Can I have a bite? They were like, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, but I like laughing, and laughing is so good. It's actually, I think they should be like, bring back laughing. <laughs> That would be actually interesting. But I like that. So, yeah. So, that's the story that I actually had to learn how to eat. Um, I'm a, and, you know, even after, like, I got into eating it, one, like, a little by little. Um, I think one time, maybe my grandma came or something like that. And then they were, like, maybe they were talking about my issue. And like, why don't you just introduce laughing to her? Because I do, I feel like l- laughing would be like, um, yeah, they just I say that introduce laughing to her and then she can graduate 
to it in Amala. Because, you know, I, I don't know about you. There's this, um, you know how, like, you know how we have child, like, uh, children, children, they are knowing kids. You know, there is this notion that, um, I guess when we are younger like that, this notion that, oh, I don't want Amala, is kind of seen as local food. And I guess the color of it also adds to it too. I feel like people be like, mm, I don't want to eat that. But like, it's the Yoruba food. So Amala and all those like Edpans, they're seen as like local food. Like, why are you eating it? It's a local food. Like, you go, like when you go to the, uh, like a... When you go visit people in their house, they, unless like they, you are deep down, deep core, like the, uh, deep down or, you know, the original, the core, like Yoruba and all this, they will they will usually present you with like rice, beans, something like that to eat. That's what they will give you. They won't give you a mother. Just because, like, some people feel like it's too local, it's too look at the color, it's not fresh, it's not. Even, you know, I think that's part of the reason why maybe I think I think that's why maybe I don't like it that much, or maybe I just don't like it. And you have to eat it too, like when it's hot or when it's semi hot. Don't leave it too too long, or it starts. Um, You'll start getting, you'll start drying up at the surface, and you won't like it. You won't like the texture very much. It is when it's not too hot, but semi my that you know, if you put your finger in it, it won't burn your finger. You know what I mean? And yeah, so they shall introduce to me like so. If you, I, I know that some some parents do that. Um, I think. I mean, for me, that's my experience, and I know some people also do that. Like, especially teaching kids, like, I'm like, it's also good food. Like, it's not local. <laughs> it's not local. It's not local. It's good food. So I think that's why. So they shall introduce laughing to me and laughing. Like maybe like if you're English, if you're like posh, you might tolerate laughing better. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it has that to it. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's why um laughing will be more palatable for people who want to be posh. Yes. And <laughs> and then but I shall graduate to it in Amala and Amala is good. Like honestly it is. It is really and yeah. It's not it's not too big. If it, like if you go to Lagos, like back in I don't know those days, like you be eating I'm like ah, I'm eating that. I don't you eat rice. This because rice is more I don't know maybe more clean or neat, and I'm like can be seen as more rough <laughs> village food. <laughs> so something like that I don't know. Maybe, I don't know perception of food. I don't want to eat a lot. Local food is good for you. Rather dive your hand in there and dig in and eat. But you're gonna starve yourself. <laughs> okay, so I know that I said I want to do ten. Right now I'm at um three. I'm just going to start in the three for the whites. So I think I'm going to do just five. Just because like now that I'm looking at it, it's really big. It's very big enough right now. So I think like maybe doing 10 will be doing too much. I mean, I will try to see how it works out. If it fits on her, then I, was, okay, I can know that the next one that I'm going to do is going to be roughly about 24 circles, like 24 circumferences. It goes like it's a spiral. So 24 spirals like that. Or however you want to count it, excluding the very end part, which is probably going to be another five or six. So I can about twenty nine or thirty. So anyway, I'm going to see how this works out. But I think I'm going to be stopping at five. Just go. It's actually I know it looks 
it looks quite small but it's actually quite huge right now it's like even more than my face <laughs> i don't know how to gauge it so but um, maybe i can do it like this let me see if i can do it like this so like this is it's weak now so i think it's quite big enough right now this is folded in four and i really think it's big enough i don't i have i have a tape but i don't know where it is actually it's in my bag over there but i don't want to get it so i'm thinking this is about 10 inch so open this so that's about 20 or even more actually yeah let me use my computer so this is about 13 inches wow this is about 20 inches yeah 20 and a half inches yeah like a 22 and a half inches that's really big that's quite big actually so adding another three spirals will obviously make it larger, wider. So I think it's good. I'm going to stop at five and then I'll just complete it. You'll see when I get done. It's, like I said, if you want one, you know what to do. So I said, what happens? I didn't wake up for so hard today, so... But I'm still fasting and yeah, I didn't woke up for sore. Like I woke up exactly exactly when the Adam when the Adam for Fajr rang. Oh, sorry. I woke up exactly when the Adan called for Fajr. And guess what? I was like, I'm gonna wake up thirteen minutes. Later. And then when I woke up, I woke up just two minutes after the sunrise. Two minutes. So, yeah, I did my prayer anyway, and we're now going to get the days. I mean, they already started for me. I already started doing my laundry, cleaning this entire space. And then I got to work on my computer and finish. I want to finish this cap today. I really do. The students of knowledge, the people that used to care so much about religious knowledge, continuing their discussions in Jannah. So you're trying to understand the Quran and the Sunnah, certain fiqhi things, certain episodes of the seerah. You're trying to get all of that in Jannah together and you're continuing that discussion there. It's coming together, coming together, almost there. So I'm on the very last fifth line for the white before I close it all up. I'm doing the fifth one a little bit, a bit different. You see, like it's very clustered together, way clustered, and like it doesn't have so much space, like the one at the bottom. That's because I'm closing it right after this. Okay, we're now to the end where I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch from white to blue because i'm closing it back i'm closing it up so it's already coming together now it's like really really wide and flat for now the end is coming together it's a cap so it's gonna come together as a cap i think it's big enough i think it's huge enough so hopefully it fits her head <laughs> oh 
my goodness, she's gonna be like, eh, -eh so you've started insulting me, Ali. But anyway, she, she's gonna get to that. I'm just gonna show you how I transitioned from here. Because I bring the I bring the blue along as I go. So I'm gonna put this to the side. So that is gone now. And then like I bring the blue with me as I as I crochet. Someone told me this is a crochet, like it's crochet needle. It's called crochet, not knitting. But honestly, I would have said it's knitting. I just call it knitting. I don't know. I don't know the difference between like crochet or. So, I'm gonna bring this in, tie this together. Maybe I should do one more with yeah. I will do one more with the white before I start with the blue. I thought that was enough, but it seems like it's not gonna be enough. Maybe I should just like. Oh, yeah, I should go in here. Like I did with the other ones. Where is it? And then go one more time. And that is that. Now we're going to start with the blue. And pull this. Going to tie this. I'm gonna bring this in again. I'm just creating like as many knots so it doesn't know. It doesn't. So it holds tight actually. So it holds tight. And then I'm gonna continue. Now the hand will be different because because as you know the hand is going to be different. I think I'm going to start with this one first and then it should come together. And I'm going to continue doing this for the next five circles or so till everything comes together like it can stay on the head. Like I could use elastic for this, but I don't have elastic but and I've always kinda like an elastic kind of adding elastic kinda add more work because you have to like stabilize it and Maybe like maybe sew the elastic first before you actually do this. Uh, yeah, the gist is to make to make it really really tight, not as free as the other ones that I've been doing. You want to make it tight, really really tight. So yeah, this is basically how I spend my Ramadan, like going to work, doing this, reading the Quran. Okay, so this is how it's coming. See, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Like this. It looks like I attached like maybe like a band or plastic. Oh, no, no, sorry, or elastic. I didn't attach anything. It's just, if you do it really tight, it will come like this. Like how it's coming. It's coming like a dome, like a real cap now. Time to breakfast. So you know what? I've often felt like I mean like this is just my personal thing the personal something that I do. Like say you finish fasting and then you break fast. You know I know some people be like sit down eat because you're tired and everything like if you're really hungry you should and then you can go and pray but you know some people like us when like when we finish eating 
then we know we would get sidetracked with something else or or you want to rest take another 10 minutes hmm. and the isha is about around 9 40 something so i want to go and pray so i can eat peacefully yeah i will want to rush because i will want to pray and then go back to stuff that i'm doing before isha comes so yeah I'll pray, then I will farabale. Why farabale, chill? Then I will farabale, eat. And then I will continue with whatever it is that I'm doing. The cap is almost done. I should finish it today, like this night. Yeah. Inshallah, I will finish it tonight. Yeah, I'm going to finish the blue colors first before I dive into what I want. Because I don't want to, like, be picking and, like, yeah. I think it's better that way. But fourteenth Ramadan, imagine like it's a, it's like do you ever feel like you don't want Ramadan to end? That's the like I'm already feeling sad that you know, and then like it's going to end soon. But Ramadan doesn't have to end. I mean, at least fasting doesn't have to end with you. You can still fast. You know, Monday fasting, uh, Thursday fasting. If you do that, keep the Ramadan spirits going. Or the fasting spirits coming back. I feel like I don't know. I feel like am I getting my eyes? My face getting skinny. Am I losing? Because I feel like my eyes are like going in, and like I don't know. I just feel like there's something different about my face here. Facial features. No, sorry. There's something different about my facial. Yeah, it feels like maybe I'm losing weight. Like. I don't know, I feel like, but maybe it's just me. It's like my eyes are going down. I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, I'm done back. Salam alaikum. I am Salam alaikum. Yeah, so I'm eating my egg again and my bread. Like the last time I ate was actually last night, like yesterday night. And because I didn't wake up for so hard today. Not that I, I didn't wake up. But I woke up too late. I mean, I slept too late and then so I woke up. So I woke up like just when they had done cold. And then the next time I, I woke up, it was like two minutes after sunrise, which was very bad. I mean, like, I still did my fajr, but then, you know, I stuck for that. But anyways, actually, it's very delicious. Spicy, which I like. It's okay. It's not too spicy, just enough. Mm -mm -mm -mm. you know do people mean spicy as in pepperish because in nigeria they won't say like when i was in nigeria anyway there's nothing called spicy it's just like you go seasoning and the food is pepperish the food is pepperish there's nothing called spicy so and sometimes i feel like people say like spice and they mean season Sometimes I feel I get that sense that people are saying spicy as in season, not spicy as in pepperish. But anyways, that's <laughs> so here is the cap. You can see that it's a, it's actually quite done. But I'm going to add two more two more lines to the blue circle here, so it all comes together. So really, it, it's actually quite big, so you can use it as a bonnet, and she can use it as a bonnet, and my sister, because she's going to get this. Um, yeah. So she can, yeah, my sister is going to get this. So she can use it as a bonnet, but I'm going to add two more um, spirals, or two more circles to this, and it will be done. And then I will begin a new one. I'm actually quite happy. I started like a few days ago. Like, maybe toward day of Ramadan. Yeah, toward something like that. Because I believe that I went, I... Yeah, I believe that I bought this on Friday. Yeah, I think I bought this on Friday. And then... Yeah, I think I bought it on Friday. Friday or Saturday. Wait, was it Friday or Saturday? I think it was Friday. Yeah, I think it was Friday. Either Friday or Saturday, so that's like second third day. 
So I probably say like Sunday or Monday. I think something like that around there. So this is done. But I'm going to add two more circles or spirals and then yeah. So you can see that this part, like the blue, the last blue part, is actually quite tight. More than if you feel it, it's very hard. Then this one, the other, the other one, are more softer. Everything else is more softer except like this part, which is how it's come close together, clustered together, give the round shape and like hand the round shape particle. I wanted to burn some incense, my coconut incense that I have since since ages. I just got a lighter yesterday from the Dorarama. And then yeah. Yeah, it goes in quite easily. Should I add one more line? Like, should I add one more line to this? Or should I just leave it like this? I'm thinking maybe I should add one more line. Or me, like, I, I don't think I'm doing too much. Maybe I should, maybe I'll leave it like this. If I need to add one more line, then I will add one more line. When she, like, when we see the fitting on her, but I think it will fit just all right like this. So, and well, I'll say this round and has been productive. I finished this, so I'm gonna close it off. So here, I'm gonna cut it just here. I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna end it. Yeah, it should be one of them like this. And it's kind of nice. Is she folks? Let's try my creation on. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It actually looks quite nice. Let me let me see how it looks at the back. If you can see, this is how it looks at the back. I like this kind of shape. I kind of like that pleats. You see that pleats? That's my handiwork. Mm, that's nice. So, one down, got a more to go. That's really nice. I like, I actually like the pleats in there. It's not like the, that was not intentional. I was just, there's a way that you have to make it that. So it stays flat until the end like this. Because if you don't make, if you don't do it that way, it's going to start um, actually like very quickly at the beginning. Starting to curve. Yeah, it will start curving up. Like just right at the beginning. And you don't want that. You want it to stay flat. So that's why I had to like do it in that way. So the end result was that this splitting, which is actually quite nice has some beauty to it i hope she likes it she better she better because this thing take me hours days so that was the hand result it looks very nice i actually like it looks really really nice and i absolutely love that blitz in there like how do you know how to do that aisha trial and error trials and you get this Anyway, I have a pressure and I should go now. It's like 10 something. But anyway, salam. I guess this will be like a vlog kind of thing. With like a vlog. I think this is my this is gonna be my second in my second video. Yeah, this is going to be in my second video for the Ramadan. <sighs> And this is the state of my room now. A lot better than before. I had all my laundry in there. So, yeah. A lot better, actually. At least I got most of things done. Anyways. Must see you another time. Catch you later.
السلام عليكم